Y'all, another glorious episode of Invincible. This time we are here to talk about Invincible Episode 6, y'all. What a great episode. I cannot wait until they release some Funko Pops and Invincible, y'all. Like, I gotta get me a Mark Funko Pop ASAP and an Omni Man. Like, look. I need me a collection to start, okay? But guys, if you're new here, hook your boy up with that HBO special. Y'all know what that is? It's a Help Brother Out special. Hit that subscribe button, ding that bell, and hit like on this video for videos on the latest in movies, TV shows, with a little sprinkle of anime and gaming in there as well, you guys. I'm Leo, this is Geekly Goods, and today we're here to talk about Invincible Episode 6. Woo! What an episode. So this is going to be a spoiler-free review, and I will be revealing more thoughts. Hopefully I can get a reaction out this week. It was not working out last week, but hopefully I can get one out this week. Let's talk about this episode, though. Wow. Mwah. A great episode, you guys. Like, I cannot reveal a lot because, unfortunately, I can't spoil until Saturday, but, man... This was such a cool episode. What I really like about this episode is just getting to see Mark suit up in a different environment. He's visiting a college with William and Amber, and there, well, William's there to actually hang out with his crush, and Amber and um, Mark are there to actually just kind of get close together and really try to reconcile, because if you remember last episode, he had that encounter with Battle Beast, and y'all, that did not go well. But because of that encounter, that led him to miss out on the date they were supposed to have. So that caused a riff in the relationship. However, this episode, they're trying to mend things and doesn't go well. Let's just say that. Well, look, he becomes invincible to help save his friends. And Amber is just really ticked off because he had to disappear to go become invincible. And then when he comes back, she assumes that he just ran off. So... It's really a sticky situation and it creates this dynamic and this tension where it makes it absolutely necessary. Just like Spider-Man has to tell Mary Jane he's Spider-Man, my man Mark is going to have to come out and tell Amber he's invincible or else she's not going to keep giving him a chance. And you can tell there's genuine feelings there. There's actually a genuine love for those two. Now, Black Samson and Monster Girl are recovering throughout this episode. That's all I'm going to touch on there because I cannot spoil Adam Eve ends up going her own way, doing her own thing in this episode as well. And man, the investigation on Omni-Man continues. Debbie is just, man, y'all, she's investigating, guys. I can't dive too deep into that either. But let me tell you guys, there's a lot that happens there in this episode. So definitely stick around to watch that. But I'm liking that there's a lot of tension in relationships happening here. You've got the Amber and Mark relationship with that tension, of course, with Mark really not trying to tell her. So, oh man, it is crazy. It is just such a great show because of course it blends the superheroics of Invincible with his teenage life and it just creates this dynamic that draws a lot of butting heads a lot of the time. So he's always late, he can't be on dates with Amber as regularly as he wants. It's crazy because superhero time always calls guys It does not wait for girlfriends or relationships. He's gonna have to tell Amber at this point. But man, the villains in this episode are really cool. They're these mind-controlled, robotic-like villains. I don't, again, another thing I can't spoil. There are a lot of do not reveals in this one, guys. Like, Amazon, I love y'all for letting me check this out early. Thank you so much. But man, the do not reveals make it really hard to review this one, I'll admit. But this is such a great episode. Again, I cannot say this enough. Invincible has such great voice acting. It's got amazing animation. There are great character cameos, or I'm sorry, voice cameos in this episode. Like Walter Goggins is in this episode. Ezra Miller's in this episode. There's some really great voice talent in this episode. So definitely be on the lookout for that. You'll be able to recognize all those voices right off the bat. Mahershala Ali was in the last one. He's Titan. Guys, there's just so many great talented voice actors in this episode and this episode really explores the hardships of being a superhero and the hardships of not being able to potentially tell all your friends and the person you're in a relationship with it's such a hard juggle and a hard balance for invincible so i love that part of it i love robots involvement in all this and again another thing i can't spoil too much but in the last episode we see him sneaking around with the twins so Lots going on there, guys. I really want to see some more battles against Battle Beast because, man, that was brutal the last episode. 
Marcus has ass beat a lot in this episode too. I need my man invincible. It's time for a little more training, my guy. A little more training. But y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comments. What did you think about this episode? Please try to, well, you know what? Feel free to spoil, because by the time we start commenting and talking about this episode, it'll be time to spoil anyway, so feel free to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for your boy Leo Rydell. This is Geekly Goods, guys, where we cover the latest in geek, and we'll see you next time.